it's about an old lady who is lonely and then she finds this toy dog and that makes her life a lot better. Where did you get the idea from? My auntie Debbie, who lived in Peckham all her life and she was really lonely. I didn't do a story with it, really. I kind of just came up with the shots on the day of the film. Whose dog is it really? Uh, mine. My ambitions are to go to film school and hopefully this will help me get in. I was just following direction, so I'm not really sure. Oscar was very clear exactly how I had to look, including socks down the bra and false nails. And how are you involved with Oscar? I'm his mum. <laughs> um, the choice for me was the ones that touched me, that I felt, especially the dog one, more or less brought me to tears, which is unusual because I'm a really cynical old film hack. I don't cry easily. I thought, blimey, if I'm crying about a, a robot dog whose batteries run out, there's something very special in this film. I mainly started on, on like normal films, like, like with people and um, just normal films like that. And then Louise showed me how to do like animation. And then I started doing that and I, I was all right. I was all right about it. Uh, uh, not one to brag, but I was pretty good. Well, one person said we should have like a zombie movie, and someone else said we should have like a giant hamster taking over the city. So I just said, why don't we put them both together and have like a giant zombie hamster thing? What will you do now? I might do another one. Not like the same, but maybe doing a different thing. Maybe more, maybe more digital instead of always using paper and stuff. Film is fused in many ways these days. If there's no longer you go to television or you go to cinema film or you do commercials. It's all fused together now and people can make and edit a film and sitting on a laptop, uh, sitting in bed using a laptop. If I didn't have their encouragement, yeah, I don't really think I'd like follow through with it. I would have given up.